What's happening everybody? This is Phil from MDC and hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I'm glad to see a lot of you guys like my last video on my room update. Uh, it's really cool. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the thumbs up and thanks for the subscription guys. Um, today we're back to new additions. Now it's time to start filling the room again guys. So I've got some cool things to look at. Uh, starting with, as you can see, up in this corner here, we are missing a car. I took it out to show you guys because we did get the RLC Datsun 510. Really awesome, really stoked about uh, checking this guy out. Did find some main lines that I was missing. Picked up this 70 Chevelle SS wagon, which is pretty, pretty cool. I'm... Pretty stoked about looking at this color. It looks pretty awesome on the car. Did pick up this Toyota A86 Sprinter Trueno. I thought I had it, but obviously I didn't. So, picked it up. A beauty. Grabbed another bone shaker. Since I am a bit of a collector of the bone shakers, I do love this casting. And also scored myself... An ultra red Lincoln Continental from Auto World, which I'm really stoked about because my father had one of these uh, when I was growing up, and this car just looks gorgeous in an ultra red. So, not that much to look at, guys, but a few good castings to check out. So, let's set up the old trusty turntable and we'll dig into some of these uh, cars, guys. All right. Okay, guys, we're going to crack open these main lines quick, quick. And then we'll dig into the, the RLC and Auto World. Okay, so we'll start off with the bone shaker, guys. And this bone shaker looks pretty cool. I love Larry Wood's design on this bone shaker. And lately, they've been coming up with some black ones that just look really, really nice. And this one is definitely no slouch. Black and chrome with the red lip wheels is just a beautiful looking bone shaker guys loving the decal we've got 68 written on the top and not sure what that says i'm not really sure what that says my eyesight's not that great let me see if i can get a better look at it guys ah okay it does say bone shaker with the skull Pretty awesome. Very, very nice looking bone shaker, guys. Okay, next. We got the Toyota A86 Sprinter Trueno in its red color. And I believe it's the third color this year. And I love what Hot Wheels is doing, guys. I'm, I'm starting to notice that all the cars are starting to come with side mirrors. Which is just awesome. Now, as I said, we've got this. Let me double check the wall, guys. Only one release. Ah, huh, okay. So it's only been released once in white. And now we have it in this red. Hot Wheels did a fantastic job with this new car, guys. They did it really, really well. We've got... Well, we didn't get any front deco, but we got all rear deco. And we got side mirrors, of course. And slightly tinted windows. You can still see inside, though. Very, very nicely done. And it looks awesome in red, guys. Looks awesome. Okay, next we have... The 70 Chevelle SS Wagon in this pretty cool blue. And the five spokes on this car just seem to do it justice. I think it looks really, really nice, this car, guys. They did a good job on this Chevelle Wagon. 
And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous metallic blue, deep metallic blue. Chrome, since the base, I believe it's the base, right? Because the interior is black. Yeah, so the base is chromed, which gives it the, the chrome bumpers in the front and the back, which is really, really beautiful. Just sweet. Okay, now, um, we're going to open up this ultra, ultra red, guys. I don't have the regular to show you guys, okay? the uh, It's supposed to be medium blue diamond bright, okay? I don't have the regular, but we're going to open up the chase anyways, all right? And I've always liked this car. I've always had a soft spot for this car. And I think the ultra red version should be just amazing. You see the ultra uh, the ultra world comes with a plastic insert. There we go. I want to drop the car. You see, it's in a plastic insert, which is really cool. Keep it really really nice. And there she is, guys. This is just awesome. You you have the white rims with the red tires. I mean, the car almost looks like it should be this color. And you've got a gorgeous, shiny red interior. Okay. A beautiful ultra red interior. White base. And red rubber tires. And the hood, I believe, opens. Should open. Let's just see. Sorry about this, guys. Most of the time, the Auto World releases do have the opening hood okay this one it doesn't really want to open I don't want to push it either <coughs> sorry about that guys but it is a just gorgeous looking car and it looks to be scaled pretty good because it's just huge and it's a very solid piece guys metal on metal that is just a beautiful beautiful ultra red Okay, guys, now we're going to dig into this 510. But before I do, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of other RLCs because people seem to be a little disappointed with this 510. And I kind of get it, but I guess people were expecting to have the Spectra Flame Golf Colors that came with this Camaro. There's also the Porsche. There's also the GT40. And there's also this um, kind of oil tanker. I do have the oil tanker. I didn't pull it out. The Porsche and the GT40 I do not have. But I guess people were kind of expecting the RLC to have this kind of flair. But you have to realize that that was just a special addition to those cars. Okay. RLC now, lately, I've done these colors here and the raptor got it and this is typically the golf colors guys this is really the real golf colors so rlc decided to use these colors which is fine they are awesome looking okay this raptor is beautiful then like i said we are missing the car up top there and this is the one the Porsche got it. Okay, these two didn't get that Spectra Flame paint. And they're just gorgeous RLCs. So, why not do the same with the Datsun? I'm going to crack it open here, guys. I already opened it, guys, because I wanted to take the rubber band off. I can't stand having rubber bands on the cars, guys. But I have not unscrewed it from its base yet. Okay, so this is what it comes in. And we're going to take off the Porsche, guys, because it's just going to take all the hype away from this. All right. We're going to move this over for a minute. And we're going to unbox this guy. All right. And there she is. Now, this Datsun is spectacular in these golf colors let's get it out of its prison guys there 
Now it does have the opening hood. I'm going to need tools. And let's get this guy out. That's not going to do it. Try this one. That one worked. Oh, the screws aren't too bad on this one. Come up pretty easily. Now, there's no numbers on the RLCs lately. It's been a long time we haven't seen any numbers on the RLCs. Which a lot of people are disappointed in. And, you know, I get it too. I think I'm a little disappointed in that too. I like having the numbers as well. Now, here we go, guys. Just to show you first, metal base. We're getting a lot of slick tires, eh, on the RLCs now, guys. They're starting to use these slicks a lot. We do have the opening hood feature. Can we open it all the way? Pretty much. Okay. Get some light on it. Engine does have detail, and quite a bit. Looks really, really sweet. Now the problem is, with opening parts, we do have that hood gap. It's quite large. But, the car is beautiful. It is another gorgeous Golf RLC, guys. The rims are beautiful. Polished aluminum, they look. Roll cage inside, tinted windows. All the back is done. It's another beautiful addition to the 510 family, guys. And like I say, we can't complain too much, guys, because it does look good with the other ones. All right. You've got the Golf family, guys. It didn't get the Spectra Flame paint, but it still looks sweet. And there you are, guys. That's that. I'm still missing a lot of RLC. I've got friends that are getting the Power Wagons. Uh, they're getting... Uh, what else are they getting? The Mustang I got, the 510 I got, the Power Wagon I'm missing, still missing the gasser, still missing the charger. RLC is owing us a lot, guys. Anyways, patience is a virtue, especially in this hobby. So until next time, guys, be safe, be well, happy hunting. Ciao.